I'm making shepherd's pie for Mike for supper. So I got the base done. I'll leave the recipe down below that I used. I just followed this recipe on YouTube. Because sometimes I'll do, I'll get the little packs of the mix at the grocery store for this stuff. But today I used a recipe for it. So I'm hoping it turns out okay. It looks good. So, yeah. That's the start, and the potatoes are boiling now. I'm just, we're in the midst of cleaning up the first round of mess. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the oven to preheat so I can put this in, and then I'll wash the table. I got like a little spear spot there, but there's not really much I can do about that. It's not perfect, but it's going to taste good. Well, I'm going to admit when I goof up. So, this happened. The gravy boiled up over the potatoes. Mike said it's still going to taste amazing no matter what, but I'm kind of disappointed in this. But I I admit defeat. Um, at least it's only the gravy. Like, the ground beef was extra lean. The ground beef was extra lean ground beef. I followed everything the way it was supposed to be followed. I think next time, I don't know, you guys can give me suggestions, but my friend told me next time maybe put a little bit of cornstarch in it to thicken up the gravy a bit more, or maybe just boil it a little bit longer, like reduce. Oh, I don't know. Either that, or I was also told from somebody to, because the instructions in the recipe said to cook it on 400 for 30 minutes. But everybody, as we all know, everybody's oven is different. So somebody suggested that I put it on like 350 and just cook it a bit longer. So maybe I'll try that next time. Cooking is trial and error. And you have to admit your defeat when you have it. It's not that it's a defeat. It just didn't turn out the prettiest. But Mike will be the judge of what it tastes like. <laughs> I think it's going to taste all right. It's just the gravy boiled over. But anyway, I tried. It was a labor of love. So, well, uh, we'll just tweak some things next time. I'll have to make mental notes of that. But yeah, that's what that turned out like. I'll show you when we cut into it. This is our little love bug's new favorite spot to sleep. Right, Zuri? Okay, I'll let you sleep. I know, I keep showing you guys this, but it's just too damn cute. <laughs> He's too damn cute. Okay, I'll let him sleep now. Okay, guys, my phone's in the bedroom charging, but here's what the uh, shepherd's pie looks like, and I'm just gonna eat it and taste, taste test it. Looks good. Okay, guys, so... Um, we finished our shepherd's pie. It was good. Mike went back for a second piece, so that's how I know it's half decent. So, I just got out of the shower, as you can tell. And, uh, I'm just, I don't have a bra on because I'm just at home. But, I want to show you guys something. My OOTD. Okay. Well, it's not O O. it's O-O-T-E. Outfit of the evening. So, I got on this shirt that I got done a while ago, and it says, Just a girl who loves fall and dogs, okay? So this is Star and this is Cassie. If you guys have been around for my channel for a while, you know who Star and Cassie is. This doesn't look like Star. Um, it's the closest dog I could get that resembles Star because you couldn't put a picture of your dog in. But anybody who's been around for a while, you guys think this looks like Cassie? Because I really do think it looks like Cassie pretty good. Okay, but the most exciting thing, okay, I gotta put you guys over here because I'm lopsided. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So I'm kind of sending mixed messages today because I have, I have this shirt on, which has foul, but I got a pair of jean shorts on, and I don't know how well you can see them, but they are a size 12. Yeah, yeah, size 12. I'm always smaller at the bottom. I got a round belly here, but that's a diabetic belly, so I can't help that. But, yeah, size 12 jean shorts. I'm trying to get in my last few things that I didn't wear yet this summer, so I can wear them before the summer's over. So I'm excited about that, size 12. Woohoo! So I got Odeo for a walk because it's a beautiful evening. Um, I think it's like 21 degrees. 
I don't know what that is in fear. I'm like, Google it if you want to know. I'm not going to look it up. There's a lot of traffic going by, and i got to pay attention to what Odie's doing, too. But I'm on the sidewalk, so it don't matter. Oh. <laughs> so, it's perfect walking weather. What you doing, bud? It's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. Shorts and a t-shirt kind of weather. Oh, can't see him. Here, I'll flip around. You just come watch him. You coming? Come on, little legs. <laughs> it's golden hour. See? What you doing, buddy? Oh, you having a pee? They don't need to watch you do that. <laughs> but yeah, look, the sun's setting. I wonder if any of your friends are out tonight. All right, I'm going to continue the walk because if he stops to use the bathroom to do number two, you guys don't want to watch that. <laughs> guys, Odie just did his business. <laughs> Not that he's needed to know that. But um, I should have filmed it. I was just back there, and when I was picking up Odie's doo-doo, I noticed a red maple leaf on the ground. You know what that means? Fall foliage coming soon. The leaves are starting to fall. <laughs> oh look, that's kind of yellowish. They're gonna start. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> what do you think, Odie? I wonder if his buddy's out today. I'll see if his buddy's out. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm in for the night. We're not doing much of anything else today. I know this was a shorter vlog, but I'm going to end it now. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I take care of... I, <laughs> baby, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone.